Hey everyone, it's Dylan from I Don't Know Reviews, and if you didn't notice, we are doing something very different today. Instead of just recording myself, I'm recording just the audio and showing footage on the screen instead of cutting back and forth, because there are a couple things I want to talk about, and I didn't want to make separate videos for every single bit. But yeah, for once, we're doing some rather huge video game news. You know, I've been doing it with Pokemon for a little bit, and we're just going to kind of trudge along and see how far we can get in this. I'm going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch, the reveal for it, the trailer, and of course the trailer for Red Dead. So if you want to go to either of those, um, you can stick around for Red Dead, because I'm going to talk about that first, or if you just want to hear about the Nintendo Switch, there's something right on the screen. Just click that. It'll take you right to where you need to be. So we're just going to start with Red Dead, because that was the smaller of the two. Now I love the first Red Dead game, and so a sequel I've, I've wanted for a really long time, and Rockstar has been teasing it for a couple days now. Either I think yesterday they said we're gonna have a trailer tomorrow, so check it out. And we have a trailer, a very short. Ve uh, this is the definition of a teaser trailer. This trailer does not show much, does not tell us really anything, but it just shows us what this game is gonna look like. And by the looks of it, this game is gonna look phenomenal. It is gonna look so damn good it just showed a lot of vistas a lot of background stuff a lot of the scenery just the graphical capability that red dead 2 is bringing to the table and i gotta say rockstar you got you're gonna impress me again i love the first red dead game i still think that game looks and plays really well but this is a huge improvement if i'm correct i think it's the same engine as gta 5 yeah there's really not much to say about it because this is just a teaser trailer just showing us how this game looks and they didn't really tell us any information. If you've been paying attention to some um, speculation, people think that the seven guys in the poster, well, not like the poster, but the teaser image for this trailer is John Marston and his old gang. So, you know, that's not confirmed. It's just a rumor. Rockstar hasn't said anything. We don't know when we're going to hear anything more from Rockstar about Red Dead Redemption 2. But this is a cool little teaser to kind of tease us and keep us... Well, I mean, kind of just let us know that this is a thing that is happening for sure. All right, guys, now time to get to the biggest, most important thing, the Nintendo NX, or as it is called now, the Nintendo Switch. Now, rumors have been running rampant of this thing for months and months, pretty much the whole year and a half since we've known of its existence. But here it is in the flesh. We see it. We know what it is. There is no mistaking the rumors were true, this is a hybrid console. It is a home console and a portable system that you can detach from the main hub and take on the go. And a lot of the specs that we were seeing beforehand through rumors and leaks seem to be very true. You have this tablet-esque controller with, the, they're, they're calling them Joy-Cons that you can like take off and put on each side and that's that's pretty much the console it comes with a dock that you know you put the handheld portion in and it becomes a home console and you can take the joy cons off you could use those controllers they're also coming with a, a regular controller the pro controller as it were and man, I, I gotta say this thing looks super interesting just for, just from ha just from the utility that they're showing because it seems that it's it's capable of local multiplayer like everyone can bring their own uh, two people could play on one using with each person using a different Joy-Con, and the the games they, they kind of showed off. I mean, the games weren't the focus, but the games were there. And we saw stuff like like ports. We saw two ports of Mario Kart 8 and Splatoon. Now, are they going to add stuff to that? Um, it seems so, because King Boo was not playable in Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U version, but he was clear as day on that one. So there might be small little additions to these ports to kind of entice people who had it on the Wii U to... Come on over to the Switch and purchase it there. Oh, no, the most interesting one to me was we saw freaking Skyrim playing on this thing. So a, a portable Skyrim is a, a dangerous damn thing to me anyway because that game is so engrossing that it's just, it's going to be ridiculous. And the fact that Bethesda is a third party developer is also just a crazy freaking thought. And there's just so much to go into like there's no discs anymore it seems that you're doing a cartridge system once again kind of like a 3ds cartridge but like in terms of other little things well not little things but we had a tremendous thing in the fact that we saw a new 
Mario game, a new 3D Mario game. We haven't had one of those since freaking Mario Galaxy 2. Sure, we had like New Super Mario Brothers, the 2D platforming um, side series, and we had, you know, uh, uh, Super Mario uh, 3D World, that was it, on the Wii U, which, you know, it was fun, but it wasn't a traditional 3D Mario game, but the fact that we're finally getting one is is pretty crazy, and like, you know, it's it's cool that they announced that, I don't, I wouldn't call it an announcement, but that they showed it off in this, you know, console reveal trailer is pretty interesting. But other than that, we have no specs, uh, we don't know what this thing's running, we're not 100% sure, but from, from what I can tell, it looks like a very clean 60 frames per second, probably 1080p. Although, when it went to the handheld portions, the frame rate did seem to dip, specifically during Breath of the Wild. But you know that we got we got till March. So we have a, we have a release window. March 2017 is when this thing is hitting store shelves apparently. So there's plenty of time for them to fix that. But another interesting thing is that after the trailer, Nintendo on their Twitter put up a giant picture with a sample of all the third-party partners that they have acquired for the Nintendo Switch, and it's it's ridiculous because they've never had anything this vast, different, and crazy. Like, we got Activision, Atlas, Bandai, Namco, uh, Bethesda, Capcom, Konami, Koei Tecmo, Sega, Square Enix, freaking Ubisoft, um, <laughs> the list goes on, you know, like Platinum. It's, it's, it's a very good sign, and I think this is a step in the right direction for Nintendo because the Wii U, as much as I loved the thing, was a very big misstep. It did not sell well. Um, the game library is not exactly that vast and uh, great, so I think the Nintendo Switch is, they're really going to push this thing. I hope they push this thing because I do not want to hear about this one trailer, this little information, and then they go dark for a couple months until we get another big thing. So yeah, no price point. No specs, we, we don't know too much about it, we just know what it is. And that's a very interesting thing to me anyway. It's a handheld home console hybrid that can run pretty big games. So, you know, the, the handheld market's going to be really different now. But yeah, that's pretty much all the information we have on the Nintendo Switch as of now. I, I'm, I, I'm going to say I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic, but I'm, I'm kind of holding my breath. I don't want to be too disappointed if this thing ends up kind of flopping. Yeah, I'd really like to know what you guys thought of the Nintendo Switch and Red Dead Redemption 2. So yeah, you know, also, just tell me what you guys thought of the format of this video. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it too often because I just had a lot of information. And I don't just want to record myself sitting in front of a camera because, you know, got to diversify it up a bit. But uh, yeah, hope you guys liked what you saw. If you want to see more, you could click right down on my channel, subscribe to see more videos on the up and up and all that good stuff. You can also like this video, you can share them on your friends, comment what you thought of these of this of these big trailers and news announcements. I'd really like to see what we can all come up with. So uh so yeah, I hope you liked what you guys saw and I will see you guys next time.